Heroic Charm. Kan man ikke mod mark? Ud i verden mod man. Og jeg gotta be free. To reach my goal. To do my thing. To find my rock. Cause I wanna kill. Kill! I spill. Kill! Well, call him to be exact. No, I give up, Michael. You can't see a thing in there. You got the torch there, Colin? Yeah. <laughs> well, turn it on, please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's no better. What about this one? <laughs> no, 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 good, Colin. God, jeez, you're hard to please. This will scare the pants off you. This one. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I don't know what to do. Could you stick it under your chin and make a face? Look. <laughs> will you just stop mucking around? This is dangerous. We could get electrocuted. Really? It's only got two little batteries in it. Okay, who overloaded it this time? Well, don't look at me. Well, I thought we agreed we were only going to use the essentials until the electrician came. Yeah, well, all I was doing was cooking dinner. I was just drying my hair. And I was just in my room. Yeah, you see? Playing slot cards. <laughs> Colin, hmm? get the torch and point it on the fuse box, all right? Yes. When's this electrician going to get here anyway? End of the week. Yeah, well, they said that last week. Yeah, and the week before that, they said he was flat out. Busy? No, and great Keppel apparently loves it up there. <laughs> Forget it, Michael. I'm going to find some candles. Here, I'll give you a hand. Colin! Hmm? The torch. Go on. Guess! I can't see a thing! Well, why don't you try turning the light on? Lin I guess I can understand. Gee, I hope Mrs. Mrs. Fuller likes a candle at dinner. Is she coming over again? Yeah. She seemed a bit depressed. Yeah. She doesn't even know what we're having yet. <laughs> Only one left. Here, I'll light it. Well, I don't think one candle's going to make that much difference. Oh, I don't know. It seems like a pretty powerful candle. <laughs> It's lit up like the MCG. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> and it was because he had his hand up his back. That was a beauty. Uh, my sides are aching. <laughs> Did you like that one, Mrs. Fuller? Why don't you shove it, Malcolm? <laughs> hey, I want to have a beauty. You too, Conan. <laughs> anything more to drink, Loretta? Um, Mrs. Fuller, don't you think you've had enough? Yeah, the last thing you need is yet another snorter short cord port. <laughs> <coughs> Just have to go for, for a snakes. <laughs> for a snakes? <laughs> snakes hiss. You know, it's rhyming slang, but. No, bugger it. That's, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Stupid bloody place to put a door. You yeah, okay, Mrs. Door? Oh, the batteries are gone. No, they're not. They're still in there, listen. Well, that's the last candle. No, it's okay. I think I know where one is. So much for cheering up Mrs. Fuller. I did my best. Linda, that was a very old joke. And I suppose yours was better? I thought Mrs. Fuller seemed to like it, yeah. She stabbed you in the hand with her fork. Linda, <laughs> people show their appreciation for humour in different ways. <laughs> Well, I got a light so we can see where we are. <laughs> what? Mrs. Fuller? Is, is that you, Clinton? Yeah. Well, get lost. Well, I think I already am. Which room are you in? <laughs>
know Michael was in there earlier. I miss him so much. Who? Vic. I love him, Gavin, with all my heart. You know, I'm sure that, that Mr Fuller cares for you very deeply too, Mrs Fuller. I don't think he does. No, he does. Well, I'm sure he does. Why don't you just go and ask him? Because I'm not talking to the bugger. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Ricketts. It's Colin here. It... No, Colin. Colin? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I was just wondering if Mr. Fuller was there. Victor, Victor, right on the Richter. Yes, that one. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fuller. Hi, it's Colin Carpenter here from number 32 Short Court. We're having a neighbourhood watch meeting later on tonight, and I was just wondering if you could come, because it's very important that you be there. Oh, come on. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a meal there for you, Mr. Fuller. A free piece. <laughs> yeah, OK, 7.30 then. Thanks, Mr. Fuller. I'll see you there. Hi, Michael. Colin. How'd everything go at the real estate agent? <sighs> I can't get an electrician here for another two weeks, Colin. Well, isn't he, isn't he back from Great Keppel yet? Yes, he got back at 10 o'clock this morning. Oh, what's the problem? He left for Bali at 10.15. <laughs> Well, look, I wouldn't worry about it. Michael and Light seem to be behaving themselves quite well today. Colin, I am sick and tired of being pushed around by real estate agents. They haven't heard the end of this. Why could you not going to win? I just give up. No, no Colin, I'm not going to give up. It's not over until the fat lady sings. Mama's little baby love short and short and Mama's little baby love short and bread. Now, will you give up? <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, Kevin? Oh, Mrs. Fuller, you seem to be in better spirits today. Well, why shouldn't I be? I had such a wonderful night last night. <coughs> Didn't I? <laughs> I, I? I had the funniest dream. Uh, I dreamt that Malcolm and I were wrestling on the couch and I had him in a headlock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, actually. I, um, I, did, I didn't make a fool of myself, did I? <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Fuller, well, well, apart from giving a pregnant lady an aeroplane spin and smearing eggplant all over Michael's glasses, you, you were very well behaved. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you joker. For a minute there, I thought you were serious. <laughs> so, you should have as much fun tonight. Tonight's dinner. Tonight? Yeah, you told Michael that you were going to come over and show him how to cook a meal properly. Remember? Do you remember that at all? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. 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 7.30 then? Mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, no, not again. No, that's right. Knives on the right, fork on the left. I did it. Are the lights, Colin? Oh, no, we don't want another night like last night. Speaking of which, how come Mrs. Fuller is coming over two nights in a row? Who knows, Linda? Who can tell the vagaries of such a woman as Mrs. Fuller? <laughs> Certainly not I. Uh -huh. You invited her over again, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Mrs. No, there's Fuller, not nearly please. enough salt in, in the Mrs. Mrs. Fuller, please. <laughs> put any butter in it whatsoever because I didn't want any butter in it. <laughs> yes, and you've forgotten the cream. I always well, put cream. No, oh, Mrs. Fuller. <laughs> Mrs. Fuller, please, Mrs. Fuller. Can you just let me do it myself? <laughs> oh, very well then, Malcolm. But next time, don't ask for my help. Yes, no, Malcolm, know. next time do not ask for her help. Come, Miss Fuller, we know when we are not wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down here, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Fuller. Let's make yourself comfortable. Just have a bit of a roll. Good day. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late. Uh, it's the meeting start. Not at all. Hi, my name's Con. Con? Con? God, it doesn't matter. Uh, I met you before somewhere. Yeah, this is Linda. She's pregnant. Uh, more than likely, I live just down the road. Yeah, shacked up with that Ricketts floozy. Peg! Oh, I'm surprised you remember my name, Vince. Vic. <laughs> Don't snap at me. 
me. Colm, uh, what exactly is going on here? Come, Linda, let's just leave these two love birds to be alone for a while. Good idea, Kevin. I don't think you're going to want to witness what I'm about to do to him. It's working a treat. No, no, just a minute, Peg. Don't you just a minute peg me. Let me explain. Explain I, what? I just, want to... just wanted to I'm what? Just... I'm seeing you in a different light. I'm going to punch your lights out, Vic Fuller. <laughs> you're even more attractive when you're angry. Oh, Peg. don't sweet talk me, Vic Fuller. I've missed you, Peg. Oh, I've missed you, Peg. What did you say? I've missed you. Really? Really. <laughs> Big boy, what's taking so long? You said you'd only be ten minutes. It's lonely in that big bed without you. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. It's way past your bedtime. Gee, you're allowed to stay up later on the weekend, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Justine, have you met my, uh, my... Oh, your mother. No, I don't think I've had the pleasure. And this young man, he must be your grandson. No, I'm not. I'm Mrs. Fuller's special... Lover. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Justina. I, I think we'd better go. Oh, goody. I'm wearing the new black lace undies. <laughs> Come on. Well, bye now. Do drop in again sometimes here in the area. Yeah, I think we might be rushing into things, do you, Mrs. Fuller? Don't you, Mrs. Fuller, me, Clinton? <laughs> no, I could certainly call you Peg, I feel now. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? Mrs. Fuller's right, Colin. You should mind your own business. Mind your own business, Lucille. <laughs> now, if I find out that you have been interfering in my life, your life, will not be worth living. It, it, it was Mr. Fuller's idea. What? D yeah, who asked me to do it? Really? Yeah. Uh, that's beside the point. Keep your big fat nose out of other people's business. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry it took so long, I had to scrape some of the salt out of it. Still, I think you find it'll be worth the while. I even put a little dob of cream in there, especially for you, Mrs. Fuller. Hmm? Oh, shove it, Malcolm. <laughs> None for you, then. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word about this. Let's just forget that tonight ever happened. Forget what? Good boy, Gavin. <laughs> Fix idea. <laughs> so what was all that about anyway? Mrs. Fuller kissed me on the lips. <laughs> no, she can... She what? A tonguey. No wonder she was off her food. Colin tried to get Mr. and Mrs. Fuller back together again. Mm. Not a good idea. No. Still, could have been worse. M Mrs. Ricketts could have come over. She, she did. did. <laughs> Colin, uh, Mr. Fuller didn't ask you to organise that meeting, did he? Linda, I think you could at least give Colin? me Colin? The... No. Well, you know what you have to do first thing in the morning then, don't you? Yeah, brush my teeth up and down. <laughs> Colin, you have to go across the road and apologise to Mr Ford. No why Have you seen that Mrs Ricketts woman? She's... she's a flossy. <laughs> you have got no choice, Colin. No, I'll be like a lamb in a web, and I'm not going to do it, and that's that. You have to. No, 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 no. Hi, Mrs. Ricketts. Is Mr. Fuller at home, please? Oh, come on in, Con. He's just in the kitchen, actually, making himself a cup of tea. But, uh, can I get you anything, Con? Oh, no. I'm fine, thanks, Mrs. Ricketts. Oh, don't call me that. It's so formal. <laughs> oh, gosh. What should I call you, then? Justine. Oh, well, <laughs> nothing for me, thanks, Ian. <laughs> How? There you are. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Poor. Can I call? Been riding a motorbike, Mr. Fuller? No, just getting a cup of tea. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll leave you two to talk. If you need me, Vic, I'll be in bed. 
<laughs> Mrs. Ricketts likes to snooze. It's only quarter past ten. Don't be long. <laughs> well, I won't keep you, Mr. Fuller. I just came over to apologise. You see, there wasn't really a neighbourhood watch meeting at our place last night. I guess that much, Carl. It was just the one. I know what you're going to say, and that's all right. You're not to blame. Aren't I? You were doing what you thought was the right thing. That's what I told them. Yeah, yeah well, I know Peg put you up to it. Well, actually, no, she... No, she... Listen, listen, she's pushy with everybody. It's not as though anybody would get involved in this bum fight off their own bat. You'd have to be bloody stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely moronic. Come, Victor, I need you in here, now. I suppose you'd better go and tuck her in. <laughs> I wish that was all she wanted. She wants you to read to her while she's in the... <laughs> All she's interested in is a bit of huffing and puffing. She smokes in there. <laughs> no, it's where she strikes some matches that worries me. You wanted me back. Me want you back? You wanted me back. Oh, don't play games, Victor. I was told by a very reliable source that you desperately wanted me back. Oh, were you? And as usual, you've got it all wrong. It's completely the other way round and you know it. Oh, who told you that rubbish? Well, who's your reliable source, then? Where do you think you're going, Gordon? No, we're just here, right here, no problem, mate. Just, just here. <laughs> And then he'll be straight over. Colin, why didn't you just explain to them what you'd done like you said you were going to? Because, Michael, you weren't there. Mrs. Fuller just went absolutely crazy. She had Mrs. Ricketts in a step over toe hold, and she had Mr. Fuller in a poor figure leg lock. It was just like World Championship Wrestling. Only rural. <laughs> that was the estate agent on the phone. Apparently they've got onto the electrician and he's coming straight over. Yes! As soon as he's finished climbing the Himalayas. <laughs> right. That does it. Good met me, Mr. Fuller! Look, everyone, it's Mr. Fuller. Look, well. It's good to see your nose has stopped bleeding. Colin, I'd like to have a word with you if I may. No, no, and there are a couple of things I could have a... Oh, here we go again. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, Thought you'd be hey. here. Don't snap at me. And what do you mean by walking away when I'm in the middle of talking to you? I thought you'd finished, dearest. Oh, Good. don't talk rubbish. You know I never finish. No. Because... Put a sock in the <laughs> Now, you have exactly two minutes, and then I want to see you back at our house. Have you got that, Victor? Two minutes. She won't count. <laughs> One minute, 58 seconds, and counting. Oh, Mr. See you again. Listen, Steve. Colin, there's something I want to say Look, to I'm you. I'm sorry, I won't do it. I promise I won't interfere oh, again. What are you talking about? I've come up with a thank you. Thank you? Yeah, yeah, for getting Peg and myself back together again. You and Mrs. I didn't realise how much I, I missed her until she got me in that headlock. <laughs> She's such a romantic. Yeah, isn't she? Don't yeah. Worry, your time is up. Get your bum over here. Uh, isn't she adorable? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, operator, yes. Can I have the area code for Tibet, please? Gee, you sure know a lot about electrical things, Mr. Puller. Uh, not much I don't know about these electrical doodads. Now, what's this thing magic do? Oh, thanks for not that. No. <laughs> ah, here's a trouble. Be, be careful, Mr. Fuller. Just flick the switch and that should do the trick. Ah, oh, good trick, Mr. Fuller. 